When we look up into the night sky, there isn't a lot to see apart from darkness and the occasional blanket of stars in the right conditions. But what can those in space stations see from up there to down here? From palm tree shaped islands made by man to a bloom of organisms responsible for most life on Earth, here are 15 strangest things caught from space. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. That being said, let's begin. Number 15, Phytoplankton Blooms. Seeing the Earth from space is an amazing sight. You get to see every edge and curve of every landmass, every snow-capped mountain, and every body of water. But what you also see are phytoplankton blooms, and what a sight they are. Phytoplankton is microscopic marine life that multiplies and turns into expansive algal blooms. They don't just form in small patches either, but rather they cover hundreds of miles over the swirling currents of the ocean with a kaleidoscope of beautiful colors. One of the best best ways to see these phytoplankton blooms is from space. From the ground level, they aren't all that impressive. From satellite data though, you can see how they reflect light in a myriad of different ways, how the chlorophyll can cause a green light reflection, and how various pigmentation can cause red and brown hues. It's spectacular, and that's the only way to describe it. In the right conditions, phytoplankton can even appear turquoise, with white calcite coating offering this appearance when patches of bloom link together. But while phytoplankton blooms are one of the strangest things caught from space, they also serve a purpose other than merely being beautiful in photos. They are necessary for the health of all sea creatures. They use chlorophyll for photosynthesis, turn sunlight into energy, and are responsible for an entire chain of animals' survival. The next time you look at those stunning bloom pictures from space, thank it for its existence. Most sea creatures wouldn't exist without it. Now it's time for the start topic. Space is a pretty complex beast. If it were easy to understand though, we wouldn't have a dedicated team of people who spend most of their time trying to find out more about it. This photo was sent in to us by someone who was not quite sure what they were looking at. And to be honest, we're not sure either. There seems to be a giant hole in Earth, almost like a black hole with no atmosphere. The photo is taken from the International Space Station. Tell us, is the photo real or is it clever photo editing? Editing trickery. Comment down below with the hashtag star topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Faces on Mars. In 1976, NASA's Viking 1 was sent on a red planet circling mission to find somewhere safe for its sister, Viking 2, to land. It had to explore, take photos, then return those photos to NASA to see if there were any areas deemed by NASA engineers as safe for landing. Viking 1 did as it was asked like a good little spacecraft, and some intriguing photos from the Mars region of Sidonia were sent for analysis. NASA engineers expected to see either the perfect landing spot or the need for further exploration. What they didn't expect to see in those photos was a face. The somewhat grainy photos showed an ancient looking face peering out from the sandy surface of Mars. NASA released the picture to the public a week later and said it consisted of a rock formation that looked like a human head. NASA didn't believe it was anything other than lighting and shadows playing tricks, but the general public was quick to jump on a different wagon. Many people thought it was proof that an alien civilization existed on Mars. It even appeared in history books, movies, and TV shows. People came up with all kinds of unbelievable stories. When NASA's Mars Global Surveyor took more photos in mid-1998, the theory was put to rest. The face was, in fact, an optical illusion caused by rocks, lighting, and shadows. There's no ancient or alien civilization, just a pile of boring old rocks. Number 13. Cosmic Butterfly Space is beautiful and mysterious, and it's little wonder that many men and women dedicate their lives to finding out as much as they can about it. Perhaps one of the prettier finds was the planetary nebula by the name of Minkowski's Butterfly. 
Also going by the name of Twin Jet Nebula and PNM29, the butterfly-like planetary nebula is unlike many others that space explorers have seen before. To fresh eyes, it looks like two jet engine turbines at full throttle, or the heads of two jellyfish facing each other. Make of it what you will. Most planetary nebula look like colorful bubbles, but this one boasts two trails of distinct material that move outward from a central point. While most nebula have one star in the center, this one has two. The outer layers consist of gas when, to put it simply, the star runs out of gas. The colorful display is the result of heat dispersing from the center. Over time, these outer layers will disappear into the darkness. Any discovery in space is to be celebrated, but one that's both exciting and beautiful is even more worthy of a celebration. Now's the time to view footage and photos of it, for it won't be around forever. Number 12. Dubai's Palm Islands If you've seen some of the high-rise buildings in Dubai, then you know what this city is capable of. They are known for pushing the boundaries, creating the impossible, and thinking outside of the box. Their Palm Islands, which are one of the strangest things to see from space fall into those categories. While the ocean and coastline were pretty without interference, Dubai wanted to create something unique. They dredged up sand from the bottom of the Persian Gulf, formed shapes with it, then made them into a giant palm tree structure. Because the Persian Gulf is shallow, this seemingly impossible process was actually achievable after all. The islands consist of 100 million cubic meters of sand and rock, and around 75 miles of new shoreline that wasn't there before. The palm tree-shaped islands are also home to residential properties and five-star hotels. If the tree wasn't enough, Dubai went and added a world-shaped addition and also have plans to create a replica of the solar system. It's amazing what you can do with a bit of sand and rock. Dubai is also no stranger to structures that push the limits of what you should and can do. They built the world's only seven-star hotel, which has an underwater restaurant, outdoor tennis court, and is in the shape of an Arabian ship on its side. This emirate city also claims the title of having the tallest building and human made structure in the world, with Burj Khalifa standing at 828 meters tall. Think that's enough? The Dubai Marina is the largest human-made marina in the world, and the Dubai Mall, with 1,200 retail outlets and 750,000 weekly visitors, is the largest shopping center by area. So, to create islands shaped like a palm tree, that's no big deal, even if you can see it from space. Dubai's all about going bigger and better, and it's only a matter of time before other creations of theirs make it to the International Space Station. Number 11. Wildfires you can see land and water from space, so perhaps it's not all that unusual to see fire either. The year 2019 was quite a devastating one for fires. The National Institute for Space Research in Brazil showed 74,000 fires, which is the most ever recorded since records first started in 2013. Fires of great magnitude have been burning across the globe, many of which have been seen from space. The Kincaid Fire in Northern California, which burned over 76,000 thousand acres was seen by NASA astronaut Andrew Morgan, who was located on the International Space Station. Streaks of white also showed up on satellite footage from the Amazon rainforest fires. There have also been devastating fires in Russia, Alaska, Greenland, and Australia. The smoke from many of these fires will be visible from space and even from other countries. Number 10. Almeria Greenhouses in Spain To grow fresh fruits and vegetables requires fertile soil, and lots of it. But when you live in the southeastern region of Spain, you're stuck with dry, barren land that grows nothing more than disappointment. But the city of Almeria wasn't going to let that stop it from being a valuable producer. In the 1980s, it developed 26,000 hectares of greenhouses around 20 miles from the city limits to help contribute to the economy. Those greenhouses cover such a large area that they are easily visible from space. 
cities. They also grow several tons of vegetables and fruits and contribute $1.5 billion in annual revenue. Under these greenhouses alone, more than half of Europe's demand for fruit and vegetables is met. That's a pretty spectacular feat when you consider that it's one of the region's most unproductive areas without those greenhouses. Amazingly, the sight from space is not all that's intriguing about this concentration of greenhouses either. The sunlight reflection has cooled down the province. The local temperature has dropped around 32 degrees Fahrenheit every decade since the 1980s, while the rest of the country continues to increase in the same period. Number 9. Pyramids of Giza Anyone viewing Egypt from space with the naked eye will not be able to see the pyramids of Giza. However, if you arm yourself with a zoom lens or high-res camera, you can see as much detail as you need. The pyramids of Giza, among many other human-made structures, are popular focal points for those capturing footage from space. They give the view from space a little more relevance and credibility and allow astronauts to see where they're looking with certainty. What astronauts like most about the pyramids, too, is how different they look every time you take photos of them. Depending on the light and angle, they can appear unique in every single image. How these 745 foot wide by 449 foot high structures look today, however, differs from how they used to look. They are surrounded by the city of Cairo and a massive golf course, rather than miles of desert landscapes as they used to be before the area went under development. Number 8. An astronaut's tool bag. Former NASA astronaut Heide Marie Stefanischen Piper was tasked with the job of repairing a solar array joint on the International Space Station on the STS-126 shuttle mission. To do the job, he had a $100,000 tool bag around the size of a backpack containing 30 pounds of grease guns, scraper tools, trash bags, and more. For just a few items, that's a pretty expensive tool kit. When Heide Marie carried out the repair, a grease gun leaked inside the bag and the kit drifted free post-repair. While he thought about jumping for it, the risk was too significant and there would end up being two objects floating in space, a NASA astronaut and an expensive tool kit. So he made the decision to let it go and keep himself safe. Roll the clock forward several months and you now have one of the strangest things caught from space, a tool bag hurtling to Earth in a fiery ball. The bag burned up once it entered the atmosphere and joined more than 19,000 other pieces of space junk from California's Vandenberg. Air Force Base. But it didn't re-enter Earth without an audience. Avid space watchers had been tracking the bag circling the globe for some time before it finally made its grand re-entry. The watching and waiting game is now over, and all that's left is Ash. Number 7. Spatula in 2006, astronauts were testing out a heat tile putty on a spacecraft in space. It was like any other ordinary mission which involved maintenance, exploration, and research. However, this one didn't go entirely to plan when astronaut Pierce Seller reported in to say his spatula may have accidentally escaped. Houston, we have a problem. Pierce said he couldn't see it anywhere on him or around him, so he could only conclude that it floated away, never to be seen again. The call was put out to NASA so that the evasive spatula could be tracked. And it was. Four months later, the spatula re-entered the atmosphere in a blaze of glory, with its ashes ending up in the Atlantic Ocean. NASA Orbital Debris Program Office officials said that the items at shuttle altitudes would not stay in orbit for long and would reappear within a few months. Clearly not in one piece, though. Number 6. Star Trek Creators Ashes There are a lot of strange, weird, and wonderful things caught, seen, and tracked from space, but human remains are normally not one of them until now. The Canary Islands were thrust into the limelight in 1997 when the Celestis Founders flight was launched on a Pegasus rocket, the first ever public memorial space flight. The international attention was massive, and both the New York Times and CNN covered it in great detail. Participants of the Founders flight included 24 pioneers such as space visionary Gerard O'Neill, 60s icon Timothy Leary, aerospace engineer Kraft Eric, and 20 people from various nations with riveting stories. Also aboard was the ashes of Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry. 
Gene's ashes were put on the rocket for a second trip into space. It's not often that rockets are launched into space in the first place, but it's even rarer to have a TV series creator's ashes aboard twice. Number 5. Volcanoes. Being able to see volcanoes is not only amazing, but necessary. Satellite data of volcanoes is not only captured for the fun of it, but also to ensure that aviators can tell pilots where they can and can't fly. Ash and mechanical components are not a match made in heaven, and without this information, millions of plane passengers could be put at risk every year. There are volcanic ash advisory centers positioned from Tokyo all the way to Anchorage. These centers can track volcanic eruptions plumes and volcanic gases, both of which can have short-term and long-term consequences. This tracking and data collaboration process is a monumental undertaking and requires collaboration from many different centers. So the next time you see imagery of a volcano from space, appreciate both its beauty and what it took to get that photo in the first place. Number 4. Holes in the Sun Holes in the Sun can sound like a pretty freaky thing. Is the Earth gonna explode? Will radiation rain down upon us? Fortunately, it sounds worse than it is. But it does make for a pretty strange thing to see from space. The sun goes through an 11-year activity cycle, and one component of that cycle is the solar minimum. Coronal holes can be opened up on the solar surface and send geomagnetic storms toward Earth. Coronal holes are regions of plasma that are far less dense and cooler than other parts of the sun. The open areas let solar winds escape, which then blow electromagnetic radiation to Earth. Once that happens, some pretty strange things go on. The magnetic fields on Earth interfere with marine mammals' internal compasses, which results in beachings and strandings. Out of all things to be caught from space, holes in the sun that cause whales to end up on the beaches would have to be near the top of the list. Number 3. The Eye of God even though this planetary nebula by the name of Helix Nebula looks like something from a fictional space movie, it's anything but. Known as the Eye of God, it's a nebula that's attracted the attention of many space enthusiasts because it looks like a golden eye. The best photos of this nebula came from a telescope in Chile. Even though it's 700 light years away from Earth, it looks close enough for you to touch. The Helix Nebula is located in the Aquarius constellation and was taken by the European Southern Observatory Telescope at the Perinal Observatory. With such a clear photo, you can see a massive outline of dust and gas from the expanding and cooling of the star's outer layer. You can also see glowing, which is caused by a steady stream of radiation from the dying star. The entire planetary nebula is positioned in a perfect way to resemble an eye. The dying star is in a state of evolution to become a white dwarf, and the flower-like pattern is caused by ionized material, molecular gas, and dust. Overall, this stunning nebula is both astounding to look at and strange at the same time. Number 2. The Boots Void if you've been in the property market, you've probably turned down houses for being too far away from amenities. They may even be a bit more isolated than you've been used to. Imagine, though, if your nearest neighbor was 0.27% of the universe's observable diameter away. That's a bit far to borrow a cup of sugar. Most people understand that space is vast, but they also believe that stars blanket the entire universe, and if not stars, then beautiful galaxy. That's true in many cases, and even if there is is an empty region, it's not long before a galaxy turns up. Therefore, it's quite strange to come across a region of space we've explored so far and find next to nothing in it. Covering 0.27% of the observable universe's diameter is the Boots Void, an area of space that pretty much has zilch. The Boots Void, which gets its name from the Boots constellation, was first discovered in 1981 by astronomer Robert Kirshner and his team. It was a spherical part of space around 700 million light years from Earth and measured 250 million light years in diameter. The entire observable universe is 93 billion light years in diameter. Astronomers have estimated that this void is the largest ever discovered, and at first, they only found eight galaxies within it. Eventually, they found another 52 of them, bringing the total to 60. 60 galaxies might sound like a lot, but it isn't when you think about the void in which they're found. To put it into perspective, it would be like only finding a 60-mile-long object across an area a bit larger than the continental United States. 
Gates. The Milky Way is another example of explaining how strange this void discovery is. The Milky Way has over 20 galaxies within a 3 million light year radius of it. With that ratio in mind, there should be at least 10,000 galaxies within the Boots Void. The void is intriguing and strange, but it's also worth exploring further, if not to delve into the possibilities of vacuums. Number 1. The Diamond Planet Shine bright like a diamond, but only on 55 Cancery 3, the planet discovered in 2004 that's basically made of diamonds. We place a lot of value in diamonds here on Earth, mainly because the materials are not easy to come by. The interior of our planet is oxygen rich but carbon poor. The carbon component makes up less than one part in 1,000 of mass. But then, 55 Cancery 3, which also goes by the name of Super Earth, is covered in diamonds and graphite. If it were habitable, diamonds would be worth nothing at all. The planet was discovered hanging around a star in the Milky Way galaxy. It's a rocky planet and is made up of carbon, iron, silicates, and silicon carbide. Pure diamond makes up one-third of the planet's mass. Such a planet has been mentioned in literature before, but only in theory. The discovery of 55 Cancery 3 means it's the first to be discovered around a sun-like star. Its radius is twice that of Earth, and it has a mass eight times higher. Even though it's quite a chunky little planet, it sure knows how to move. It can make a full orbit of its host star in 18 hours. Earth, on the other hand, takes a full 365 days. If you're starting to imagine yourself wearing furs and dripping with diamonds, diamonds, don't get too excited. Humans aren't about to board a plane to this new planet. The surface temperature is around 3,900 degrees Fahrenheit, which means a life form probably doesn't and never will exist on its surface. We'll just have to stay here with our abundance of oxygen and lack of diamonds instead. It's amazing to think that we only see a snapshot of what exists on our entire planet, but if you're in space, you can see almost everything. What surprised you the most? Did any of these catch you by surprise? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!